Hi there, this is Crystal, and I'm here with my Thankful 30 for 2019. I have the first five days ready to go. Um, I'll be honest with you, I did not quite approach this the way I thought I would. Um, so I did do my journaling. I had this little notebook and the prompt list inside, and I did journal on each day about um, the prompt and what I was thankful for. But uh, it occurred to me that taking pictures on each day was absolutely not going to work for me. Um, we were traveling for the first few days, and uh, then there um, was some sickness in my household, both a dog and a human, um, that we had to deal with. So um, things just didn't quite work out like I thought they would, which is fine. I just decided to pull pictures from um, ones that I had. Some of them are new pictures, actually, and some of them are ones from just my my photos that I've, I've taken. All of them are from this year, though. I am making sure to only pull uh, from this year. But um, yeah, so that's that's where my pictures are from. Um, I did type up my journaling after I wrote it, um, and I did choose cards that went with each day. So I'm using this um, this Coptic album that I created. I have a video showing all of the supplies that I'm using, so I'll be sure to link that down below. Um, so when it came to journal, to actually type up the journaling for each day, I did open up this book and pick out a color of card that worked with each spread. So I did color coordinate that. Um, as for the numbers, I did decide to do some stamping. So I, I just grabbed some, I had these scrap sheets of cardstock, and I picked out five inks that matched the five colors of cards. So these are all Versamagic inks. This is Mango, uh, Night Sky, Pumpkin Spice, um, Perfect Plumeria, and Spanish Olive. All of them are a really good match except the Night Sky. The card is a bit more teal and this is definitely a navy, but it's the closest thing I had. So that's what I'm using. I'll link these down below as well. I just stamped a bunch of this um, wreath stamp from the Feed Your Craft My Thankful 30 stamp set. I stamped a bunch of them in a line on these scraps of paper and um, I'll stamp the numbers as I go. So for the numbers, I'm gonna use the Brandy Kincaid Aster number set. I'm pretty sure this is still available. I will link it if it is, um, but I want to decide which color of circle um, or wreath that I want to use each day. So I haven't actually stamped out the numbers yet. Um, so yeah, that is that is where I'm at. I've also realized that I'm gonna have to keep things pretty flat in this album. It's all I have the cards just kind of sitting in here, and um, it's already super chunky. I'm a little concerned I may need to pull this embellishment out and replace it with something um, thinner because yeah, it's it's not gonna close. I don't think otherwise. So I'm gonna be just aware of that as I as I um, embellish each page. That it's just gonna need to be. Um, really flat. So yeah, other than that, I am just going to put a photo and a card on each page and do a little bit of embellishing and then call it good. So I'm going to put you on fast forward and um, do these first five days. So the prompt for day one was creativity and um, I certainly could have written about my um, scrapbooking or paper crafting but I knew that would come up later on in the month, so I decided to focus on um, another creative endeavor that I that I do. I, I'm in a band, so the picture is actually of me performing with my band um, just a, a couple weeks ago. It's one that my friend Taylor took and posted on Instagram, and I just screenshotted it. Of course, I didn't have any photos of myself since I was on stage, um, so I used that and um, wrote just about how how thankful I am to be able to pursue all of my creative hobbies. So that's where the picture is from. That's what the journaling is about. Um, you may notice that all of my journaling cards have adhesive on the back of them. That's because I uh, adhere them to a sheet of paper to go through my typewriter. So I have a We Are Memory Keepers typewriter 
And to get these 3x4 cards to go through it smoothly, I just use a little bit of that adhesive on the back and stick them to just a regular sheet of printer paper and run them through that way. And that usually works no problem. Um, you may have also noticed that I erased the bottom of the card. That's because the ink from that printer sometimes gets on the edges of the card, but um, most of it usually comes off if I just use my sand eraser. You can still see it a little bit, but it doesn't bother me too much. So um, that's just one of the quirks of that particular typewriter. If you have one, then you may experience the same thing. Um, it doesn't help that the other ribbon that's in it is red, so I get a lot of red showing up on my cards. Um, so I really need to switch that out for a white one or a clear one or something like that, but for now it's working. Okay, so I've chosen one of the purple wreath circles to type or to stamp, that is, my uh, day number. And I did decide to add the word day. That's part of the Thankful 30 stamp set as well. I had thought about using the little November half circle, but I realized that when I get to the point where I'm having double digit numbers, that November isn't going to fit. So um, I, I think I'll be able to fit the day stamp in regardless of how many um, numbers I have on in that circle. So I went with that one. And then I just added um, a little sheet of paper from the 6x8 paper pad from the Truly Grateful collection, which is, of course, the collection that I used to make this album. And then um, a, a sticker from the sticker sheet from that same collection as well. And then I moved on to day two. So um, day two was something about you physically. And um, I wrote about my size. So I took a picture of a pair of jeans that I just purchased. Um, we took a trip to Denver um last weekend or the weekend before um and i had to actually go out and buy new jeans because i didn't have any that fit me and that's a good thing they were all too big so i had to get smaller jeans i've been working really hard and um uh watching what i eat and running and um i'm I'm not down a lot in weight, but I am down um, at least two sizes. So I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful um, that I've finally taken the initiative and um, done something. So um, that's what I wrote about. And I thought that the picture of my jeans was a fitting representative of that. And um, so I, I added a white border to that picture because I took it on my on the quilt that's on my bed right now, which is green, and the greens didn't match. So I needed something to separate those greens. And then I added a floral cluster from the floral ephemera pack from the Truly Grateful collection uh, behind it and used my Xyron to add some adhesive to the back of one of the vellum phrases from the Feature Craft My Thankful 30 kit. Um, that's the best way I've found to adhere these vellum pieces down. Um, these actually are a little bit more opaque so um, some adhesives will work on them the one I'm using here though because it's dotted it does show up so I just decided to grab my little Xyron machine and use that instead and um, I'm using also a punch to punch out these numbers that's a one and a quarter inch punch from EK success I will have all of the products that I'm using linked down below in the description box so um, if there's anything you see that I'm using that you're curious about you can find a link for it down below um, I'm also adding a few more vellum floral bits to um, to my journal card there by the number. Uh, again, using the Siron machine to add adhesive to the back of those and then just creating a little cluster. And then that's going to be it for day two. I can move on to day three. Um, day three's prompt was uh, your significant other or best friend. And I of course wrote about my significant other this is my partner jesse so the picture of us is was actually taken in denver we were at a um a bar at the top of a high-rise building and we were watching the sunset um, over the mountains and it was absolutely gorgeous and we had somebody snap our photo but of course it, it's a terrible photo it didn't come out and I tried to edit it a little bit just so you could see our faces um, but yeah still not a great photo but it's the only only photo we have of the two of us from that trip so I definitely wanted to use it and I will definitely use it again beyond this mini album um, just because you know that it was a special trip and I want to be able to document it even if the photo isn't great so I added uh, day three, uh, I used a green circle for that. And um, I'm also gonna add another floral to the top of the photo. The flower is from the Truly Grateful Ephemera. And then I used one of the vellum leaves from the My Thankful 30 kit from Feature Craft. And I'm also gonna add another leaf um, over by the number circle. Um, 
I did add a little phrase sticker from the 6x12 sticker sheet from um, Truly Grateful, but I wanted something else by the number. I wanted to bring some of the blue from that flower over to the other side. So I have this little baggie of leaves that I die cut from scraps from the Truly Grateful collection. Um, after I had made a few things, I had a bunch of scraps and I decided just to die cut a bunch of leaves. Um, this is one of those. I don't believe this die is available anymore, but if I can find it, I will definitely link it down below as well. Uh, and then that's it for day three. So moving on very quickly to day four. Day four was, um, the prompt was your pets. Um, I think it was pets. Your children or pets. Oh, right. Children. I don't have children, but I do have pets. So um, I wrote about my, my four crazy animals. Um, I had this photo from um, one of the first school days where I hung out in our bed under the covers for a bit longer than normal. I had my computer and all four animals were cuddled up next to me in, in our tiny little bed. Um, so I just snapped a really quick photo. It's not a great photo, but it does show all four of them. I did make it black and white because the colors in there were absolutely crazy. And um, in order for you to really see them, I thought it would be best to put it in black and white. And then I uh, mounted it on a little bit of white card and then used one of the Truly Grateful papers um, that was purple to um, add another map behind the photo. And that brings in some of the purple from the journal card that I have on the other side. So um, I liked that that tied together. And then I'm also gonna grab another one of these floral clusters from Truly Grateful uh, and just stick it below my photo. Um, I had adhered the photo down really well. I tend to add a bit more adhesive when I'm working in albums like this that aren't in pockets because when you flip through, I don't want things to move around or to lift up. So um, I had adhered that photo down really well, but then I needed to pull it up to add the floral cluster behind it. So I had to add a bit more adhesive there um, once that was in place. And then I've chosen a blue wreath circle for my number, for number four. So I'm just gonna stamp that in there as well and my desk is getting super crazy at this point i had lots of stuff out and i was starting to lose things so um, i think i might need to invest in a larger desk mine is really small um, and it's been working for me for a while but i'm starting to have to pile things up on the floor around me as i work and uh yeah the floor is not the cleanest so that's probably not the best idea um yeah so anyway i digress uh, so I added a little sticker from the Truly Grateful sticker sheet that says family because they are my family. And then I also added just a little heart from um, a vellum heart from the, the Feature Craft Kit. Okay, on to the last day I'm sharing today. Um, this is day five and the prompt was a family member. And instead of focusing on a single family member, I decided just to talk about my family in general. So this is my my larger family, my extended family, um, my mom and all her brothers and sisters and all of my cousins and everyone. We had a family reunion this summer and uh, we took a big group photo. So that is what I'm using as my photo. It fit perfectly on this little cut apart. Um, label from the 6x8 paper pad from Truly Grateful, so I decided to use that. I really liked the yellow as well, so I'm also using a yellow circle for my number. And um, I just wrote about how much I love the fact that our family, um, we all get along and we have fun together and we love each other. And I know not everybody has a family that is um, so close. and. I think I probably took that for granted for a long time because it was all that I knew, um, but I know that it's it's not something that everybody has the pleasure of enjoying. So I'm just really thankful that we still get together and we still have fun. And um, yeah, we had a really great time at the reunion. So I added a stamp below the bottom of my journal card that says gather together. I thought that was pretty perfect for this group photo. Um, I'm also going to add a few embellishments. So I'm gonna add another one of those little phrases, the phrase stickers from the six by 12 sticker sheet from Truly Grateful, that one says wonderful. And then I'm gonna add another um, little leaf. So I tried out a couple and I end up going with a navy blue leaf from the um, die cut pack from Truly Grateful. And I'm just gonna tuck that behind my number and then I'm gonna add a little puffy sticker 
from Feed Your Craft. These are the All Hearts Puffy Stickers. I'm gonna add a little yellow one just to bring in some yellow, um, some more yellow up there, and then that's it. So here's just a really quick flip through of the first five days, and then there are some photos coming up. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this process. I hope you maybe got some inspiration as well. And like I said before, everything I've used is linked down below, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you back here soon.